Hey, Skillbite here. And in this video, we're gonna apply and do a first impression of this Valentine Performance Detailing Graphene and Ceramic Spray Coating. All right, they're claiming easy to apply, superior water beading lasts up to 12 months. They are Boston based. And a little history. So they make some claims, directions. It is super easy to apply. Shake, always shake well. Lightly spray product onto the target surface and a microfiber towel. Buff to shine, gently buff the product to the surface with microfiber towel and then buff off for an even coating without the need for dwell time. So you don't have to wait to buff it off. Suitable for use on dry paint, glass and headlights can be applied in sun or shade. <laughs> So almost none of these can be applied in the sun, but this one, since you literally put it on and buff it at the same time, you can put it on in the sun, but I still wouldn't do it. <laughs> it's gonna be hot. I'm clean, dry paint. Stream, no, off, no. Spray, I want spray. Clean microfiber, towel. section at a time start buffing it in you can spray it directly on my microfiber towel if you wish it might be a little heavy on the product A little while since I tried, I tested it on a small section. So you're probably going to want to apply it with one cloth and then do your final buffing with a second dry cloth. I tell you, it's a so far, it's a whole lot shinier than than it was. So right here, I haven't put any on. This I have, now it's still a little streaky. But it's definitely got more shine so far. So let me uh, go ahead and do the rest of this hood. I just finished the hood. It has not been, it's not had time to cure or anything. You definitely want to have an application cloth and you can spray it on the cloth and or the paint then spread it around with the application cloth then take a dry microfiber cloth and buff it that definitely worked best and you know you want to avoid getting this on like rubber and stuff now you can put it on the windshield but I don't ever put this kind of thing on the windshield because a lot of times your wiper blades will just slide over the water and you know if you're going fast and it beads the water up and it rolls off great you know kind of like the old rain x but it tends to get your wiper blades to not really work as well so i personally don't put it on the windshield i'm going to go ahead and give it 24 hours to cure even though the product doesn't say it needs it just because most of them i find do so much better after they've cured and you can really see it's even getting shinier on this side and it's only been 10 minutes so i'll be back it's been 24 hours let's see how this valentine performance detailing graphene plus ceramic spray coating did gloss looking pretty shiny it's got a nice gloss now this paint is not the best 
it's still got some oxidation in it but you can see that is a nice nice gloss on that paint and yeah i did the whole whole truck last night so here's one for you i showed you right after putting it on now i wouldn't normally do this but this is actually a pretty smooth base and I mean, it's scary slick. I can't believe it. it is super, super slick. So let's see how it does with water beading from a hose. Okay. I always manage to get it all over me and the camera. That, <laughs> okay, that's impressive. That is impressive. Look at that. Well, there you go. Initial impressions are very good. Now, will this do? So the 303 Graphene was a great product, but it left water spots. Is this going to do the same? <laughs> we'll see. I'm going to let this dry. There's a couple things. One. Make sure you shake this up while you're actually using it. Keep shaking it. You can see that it's got product that comes up to the top and floats versus the rest. Second, if you look, I'm hoping this is showing up on the camera. Water spots everywhere. So where the water did not just come dumping off, where the, where the beads dried, there are little water spots. This acts very much like that 303 graphene, which from a protection and shine standpoint, I really liked and it really beaded up. However, did leave water spots. It's not as bad from the rain as it is from the hose, but uh, you know, be aware of that. So. My overall grade for this product, uh, honestly, I'm going to give it an 8. I'm going to give it an 8. It, it's just the shine's great. The beading's great. It is so slick. And again, I think, think it's got more graphene in it. That's also, I'm guessing, why there's so many uh, water spots. It's a pretty good product, so I hope that was helpful. If so, please like, subscribe, comment, and good luck with your purchasing decision. Oh, and uh, see you in three months for the long-term review.